Uh, hello, Coach. Question. I have all, uh, actually, I have three questions, if it's okay, okay. for you. One, two, one. I don't two, know if one. I'm able yeah. to remember, but okay. well, let's try. <laughs> no, let's, uh, separate, yeah. Let's go step by step. First of all, my congratulations with your first game in Shakhtar and in Champions League. Thank you. Uh, a couple words about the, how, how it was for you, because we know that it's only like a second day in the team. Yes. Well, um, it was... Uh, Unbelievable experience last three days, of course. Uh, changing uh, club, uh, amazing club, uh, Feyenoord, for another amazing club, uh, Shakhtar. And uh, having only one training and several uh, meetings with the team to prepare them for this game, which is, as you know, uh, not such an easy game when you play Barcelona away. Um, so it was uh, hectical. Uh, a lot of things have uh, in, in those two days, uh, just one colleague said, Marino, I know you one day, but I have a feeling I know you three days, uh, three years. So it was intense, uh, a lot of emotions, uh, but um, I'm very grateful uh, for the people uh, in Shakhtar, for everybody who works by the club, by their warm uh, welcome to me and how they supported me uh, last uh, two days. Okay. Uh, you made today only three substitution. Uh, why don't you made more? Uh, team looked very good in the second half physically, but uh, still, uh, why? <laughs> <laughs> Could change six. Eh? <laughs> but look, uh, it's not about the changing uh, the numbers. Uh, it's always if you change something. If I change something, uh, you want to see something different in the game, and to change the rhythm of the game maybe, or to surprise opponent. And, and sometimes you have to deal with uh, with fatigue from some players, which are which worked unbelievably hard tonight. Uh, and I, I saw a, a, a team a play, playing pretty good football. So if I see pretty good football, I don't have the reason to change. The last one from me. Uh, I understand that you only like. Uh second day or third day in the team, uh, but the question about uh, Matvienko and uh, about his shape, uh, what's the reason that uh, this quality of his game, is it some injury or he's not like in a, in a good shape now? Matvienko? Yes. You find Def defender, you, defender. Uh, defender. You find he was not good? <laughs> you think he was not good? or? I saw even Taras uh, Stepanenko has uh, some like comments for uh, him during the game. Yeah, like. but <laughs> look, uh, you you have to realize one thing: uh, for this team, happens also a lot of things, uh, also a lot of emotions. Then all of a sudden, there's a new coach in front of them. They have three coaches now in a couple of days, so um, it it it, be, it means a lot for a player. Uh, we always just think, okay, they have to show up and play football, but they're also people, you know, they have emotions. Um, I can say only one thing. Uh, I never talk about uh, individual players, but uh, I'm tremendously proud uh, of all my players tonight. Tremendously proud because these guys showed up tonight to compete with Barcelona, which is one of the best teams in, uh, in Europe for me, of the way of playing and the quality they have, and etc., etc. So, Matvienko, was your question? I'm proud of him, too. Okay. Only three. Okay. Okay. You. Please. Coach, congratulations on a good performance. Graham, um, I spoke to your captain, Stepanenko, and he said that you've asked them to play with courage, to be ambitious. And he and I kind of agreed with each passing 10 or 15 minutes, your team did that more and more as soon as they, they found their feet. Yeah. They went for the draw, went for the win. That's one of the things you're pleased about? Yes, absolutely. Actually, they did everything I asked from them. And, and of course, there are moments in the game and periods in the game that you have to suffer against Barcelona like they are. But even the suffering, they show, they show character. They work very hard, they were organized, they were disciplined. Uh, they, they're supporting each other, and uh, it's not so easy when the opponent is pressing you so high and so high intensity, of course, uh, to, to answer that intensity in the same way when you're in ball possession. So we change some things in, in half time and also during the first half, and they pick it up very good, you know. And if you can change that during the game against this opponent, 
and you have potential. And you have potential and you have character. And that's, that's why I'm most satisfied tonight uh, about it. Yeah. Okay. This. Uh, welcome to Shakhtar. Um, I'd like to ask a question about what um, Ukrainians, Shakhtar fans, uh, and others can expect from your style of football that you want to bring to the club. What we saw some, I guess, uh, initial things today, uh, sort of build up from the back, um, some good quick uh, combinations, attacking down the wings. How would you categorize and maybe summarize what you want to bring uh, to the team? Uh, you mentioned it already, several things which I find very important. It's a part of, the, of my vision. Uh, first of all, Shakhtar is a big club. And it's a big club in, uh, in, in Ukraine. And uh, uh, when you are a big club, I think uh, you, have to be, uh, you have to try to be dominant in uh, several things, maybe in all of things. And uh, first of all, this domination is without the ball, and then it's also domination with the ball. Because uh, this domination with the ball, let me say like that, I love football. And uh, when I uh, watch football, I want, I want to enjoy. And uh, I want to enjoy also from my team when I watch them from the side. So that's, uh, that's it. Attacking uh, uh, <coughs> vision, uh, with a lot of movements, uh, high pressing team uh, with a lot of courage uh, as we showed uh, tonight and that's what we are going to develop in the next period more and more and more uh, and that's it I, I want to see good football I don't know if it's enough question for you but you answered it almost the half of it you know <laughs> okay finish okay the latest please Good afternoon. I wanted to ask you, today it was a very special day for uh, Dimitro Chigrinsky, who was back to Barcelona, his former club. Yeah. Uh, he didn't play tonight. Uh, could you tell us about the role that you think he can have on, on your squad? Yeah, <clears throat> a very good question. Thank you for that. Uh, uh, well, it, I, I, I was very happy for him uh, to be tonight to be with us. You know, when you, when you, when you play or, or, or you're in a squad, against your old club and meet people you work with or play with, uh, I saw a big smile on his face. So it was nice to see it. Um, he's an experienced guy, intelligent guy, with a great character. And that counts for all uh, players, uh, all uh, uh, guys uh, uh, in his age in our squad. They are supporting, they are helping the young players, and uh, they are guiding them also on their own way. So that's also the role that I, I, I ask from them. and. Uh, they're fulfilling it uh, on an uh, excellent way. Okay. Thank you very much. Finish. Why? Oh. <laughs> Thank you. See you, bye.